all right so now let's start with the application so firstly we need to remove a few things which we don't need so within the source folder we have the app.css the app.test.js logo.svg and setup test.js so let's remove all these then within the index.js over here well actually we don't need to remove anything inside of it so let's get to the app.js and we have this default component so let's remove the entire thing and let's create a fresh one using this snippet sorry this prefix so i've installed an extension called es7 react redux snippets in vs code it just gives us a bunch of different uh, snippets bunch of different prefixes which allows us to generate snippets real quick so one of the provided prefixes is this one raf and let me just zoom in this thing so it just creates a functional component and it even exports it as default from the file and the name of the component is the same as of the file name so that's perfect so now we need to set up a base for the application so before we can actually start with different screens in the application the first thing we should be doing is is to set up a theme now as we are using material ui library the version 5 we will be creating a theme you can consider theme as a set of predefined values kind of like a design system that your application follows so we are going to create a theme for the material ui library that we are using so for that within the source well one second we need to remove something within the source folder let's create a new file and we can name it as theme.js we are going to export the theme of this application from this file so within this we first need to import a function from the material ui library the core and the name of the function is create theme kind of descriptive so this function when invoked when called returns back the theme that we can use for our application so we can just export default the return value of this function directly from this file so within here we need to change a few things we need to override the default values so within the create theme there are different theme configuration variables you can consider them as different parts of the entire design system so within this we have palette which takes care of of everything related to the color now within the palette we have background which is a color and within the background we have default so this thing over here it takes a color code and we are going to override the default value of this default color within this nested structure that we have we have the palette which is a theme configuration variable within which we have different colors as you can see over here and we are overriding one of them which is inside the background now other than the default there is also paper as you can see but for the time being we just need to override the default color and i will explain why we are doing this in a second but let's just override it for now to be of this color now you can pause the video and you can enter the same thing so now that we have created a theme now by creating a theme it doesn't mean that you are creating one from scratch it just means that you're overriding the value the default values of the default theme and we are doing so we are just overriding this thing for the time being so now let's get to the app component the app.js and we need to import the theme that we have just created this thing right over here so in order to consume this theme that we have created the the new theme the one that overrides the default values you do get the point we need to import a component from the same material ui library in order to consume it and the name of the component is theme provider kind of speak for itself it provides the theme that we have created so let's wrap the entire thing inside the theme provider and let me just get over here instead and to this theme provider 
we are going to wrap the entire application or to say the entire tree tree of the application so over here to the theme provider we need to pass in a prop called theme which has to be the theme that we just created which is this one which we are importing from this file so now if we save it and if we take a look let me just refresh we will notice one thing the very first thing in fact and well actually we didn't because we need to do one more thing so other than the theme provider we are also going to import another component which is css baseline now this component it is similar to normalize the normalize css if you have ever used it and in fact it's going to make more sense if i just open it up in the official documentation so this thing over here it just comes with different like standard stylings in order to kickstart an elegant consistent and simple baseline so if you have used normalize css it's similar to that it's just a component which you import and place in your tree and it brings in a standard styling format now there is also a way to override some of the values but we would not get into that so we just need to place this component in our application in the tree in such a way so if we do that the very first thing that we will notice is let me first save we will notice that the color gets changed as you can see the color has now been changed and it's actually this one so the css baseline component that we just imported it does a few things well in fact it does a lot of different things such as it removes the default margin from all the browsers like the default margin which different browsers may have in order to kind of have a consistent styling layout it sets the box sizing property on the html element to be of border box and a few other things related to typography and other stuff now one of these things is that it sets the theme dot palette dot background and the default color the one that we just changed the value of this thing it sets this color from the theme to be the background color of the application and by that what it does is if we just inspect the entire thing we will see that the body element is going to have the same color this thing and this is the reason why we had to override this color in the new theme that we just created perfect so now that we have a basic structure the next thing that we need to do is we need to set up routing as you can see that this application it has different routes this is the home page we can call it there's another one which displays the the definitions so this is another page and one for the bookmarks so before we can actually start working on this screen we need to have the routing mechanism in the application so let's do that <laughs> 